calls you not because you're perfect or you've got it all together. God calls you in the midst of your brokenness to be a part of God's work in the lives of other broken people. God will be there and will be at work in and through you in ways you could not imagine. International Ministries' vision and mission is to relate cross-culturally, to bring Christ in every aspect of life, very holistically. Conflict transformation is moving a conflict from a negative, destructive experience into a positive, constructive experience. For me, conflict is a tough, tough thing. The easiest thing for me to do is run away from conflict. And to hear Dan Buttrey say, Jesus is Lord also of our conflicts, rather see them as the possibility of entering into holy ground where God will be at work to do the opposite of what we fear. We know that this elephant is in the room, that Muslims are evangelistic and so are Christians. We say to our Muslim counterpart, I can't wait to baptize you and hear you say, Jesus is Lord. Then they'll turn to us and say, we can't wait for you to acknowledge that Allah is one and Muhammad is his prophet. And then we say, in the meantime, how are we going to live together? I've been doing peace work for a long time and have been a full-time global consultant with uh, international ministries working on peace and justice issues. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, teach us to number our days so we may get a heart of wisdom. And so as I started looking at the days that I still had ahead, I thought, I've got to get wise about what I do and especially in preparing the next generation. So I grew up in Lebanon, uh, lived most of my life there. From a very young age, I was confronted with armed conflict a lot. I cannot call a specific place home. But I also have seen a lot of richness from the people who have welcomed us when we needed a refuge to go to. And I realized this is the essence of life, the relationships we have, the people who welcome us, this is what matters most. I really appreciate how Dan has been very supportive, encouraging and calling out the leadership in me. There really is a modern movement of God's Holy Spirit on this earth that is calling people forth to minister in these dark, dark, dark places. I'm not shocked by the darkness anymore. I've seen and heard so much, and it's tragic. But do I have hope? Yeah, I do. Because once light breaks into darkness, it's not dark anymore. I would like people in the church globally to begin to look at things from a kingdom perspective. And it's about loving your neighbor, regardless of who your neighbor is or where she comes from. And sometimes those dark places are in our backyards where we have just been totally oblivious to what's going on or on the streets of our own cities. The good news is that the gospel of Jesus Christ is being proclaimed in these dark places and people are coming to incredible repentance, incredible rescue and restoration. God's Holy Spirit is speaking into their hearts. When I was with White and Barb in Chile, seeing the way that they interacted with their sisters and brothers in Chile, not as people who had parachuted in from some superior reality, but as people who are simply trying to be useful in what God is doing in their community. We spent the first year or two simply building relationships and, and asking what life is like here for people, the culture, the language, before we began even proposing or dreaming of certain details. What Dwight and I both sensed was a call to accompany the poor, to walk alongside the poor, to support them, and see what we could do to help them um, find the path that God had for their lives. Personalmente agradezco a Dios el desconocido, al conocido Dwight, al conocido a Bárbara, sus hijos. Son buenos amigos. No tanto en pensar que, que todo tienen que traerlo ustedes. Más bien nos han enseñado que nosotros podemos también hacer. Y eso se valora. Porque cuando alguien piensa en otro que se desarrolle solito, eso es valorable porque se considera la dignidad de la persona humana. Jesus' example of discipleship was life on life. It was flesh on flesh. It eventually cost him his life. But it showed us that imitating his heart meant things like giving other people dignity to those who want it, need it, didn't even know to ask for it. It's the work of fighting for the oppressed, 
and insisting on God's ways of justice in places where conflict has torn communities, countries, and people groups apart. Discipleship is the way of Christ. We're like small cogs in the wheel of God's mission. All of us are asked to give in some way. Money is just a small part of it. Time, gifts, talent, prayer. The World Mission Offering is International Ministries' way of bringing our entire family, the American Baptist family, together. For a long, long time, mission was something that the West did for or to the rest of the world. Now, in our church at Song Sawang, every first Sunday, we have two offering bags. We have the regular offering for the church, and then we have a mission offering. And that second bag is to support Thai missionaries who are in other countries serving. We are just the, the front edge of a wedge, if you will. Behind us is this community that sends us. And the World Mission Offering is one of the, the best ways to give in support of, of our global work. And so when you see something happening around the world uh, that, that concerns you or disturbs you, uh, many times God has people in that setting that are doing something and I am many times has been a participant in that transformative work and the World Mission Offering enables us to go. In the World Mission Offering you can be seeding the good work that God is doing around the world.